News flash, news flash, news, news flash. Been into town today. Been in town. To, uh, I'm in town at the moment. Went to the went through the market, and yeah, there are more stalls closing. Yeah, I went past the um, craft stall in the market completely totally gone I don't know if it's moved to another location but it is not as you go in on the left hand side it has completely totally gone so there's always been a craft stall oh since the market oh, since since the new market since the new market opened yeah it's a shame when a long established business like that ends up ends up they might not have closed, but I might go and have a walk around the market and find out if the stall has moved or not. But if they have, if they have ceased trading, that's uh, a big shame. That's a big shame, and is a big loss to the market. Um, market trading is one of those things now that is disappearing, and. Yeah, it's something that we're going to have to uh, keep an eye on because, uh, to be truthful, the way Blackburn's going at the moment, it's not good. It's not good at all because it's like what I said before. The clever money is moving out of town because I went, I went and had had a look online. There's a um, a website called Northwest Places, and they were well showing some of the new developments that are happening uh, that are happening but what I've basically found on that site is that the more majority of these new developments are not in Blackburn far from it Salford has just had an well Salford has just had um a com I think it's vinyl vinyl uh, construction limited and <clears throat> what they're doing is they're put they're putting in an investment of 130 million and yeah, <clears throat> which will be put on, it's a hundred storey uh, development and uh, it's going to be on the Media City campus. <clears throat> that's a lot of, that's a lot of flats. And the thing is now, buy to let is the thing, that, is the thing to be in. And, uh, yeah, is it going to go falling flat on its face? We don't know. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to have to have a drink in a bit. But uh, we'll just have to see what, what happens with the UK government 
with the shambles that it is at the moment. Uh, Boris is on his way out uh, and a large number of players are jostling for his job but if you look at it he hasn't he hasn't yet lasted as long as Theresa May so we'll just have to wait and see because for what I've been hearing is that uh, one of the government's aims is uh, the right to buy your property if you've been in there for, for a certain amount of time um, I don't know if some of these some of the you know so I don't know if that uh, right to buy scheme is going to go through or not with the um, stuff that is going on so you know it, that is a wait and see situation so we'll see how it goes because for what I've been hearing the investors who were, were going to invest in, in a in a program at, in Blackburn because what was meant to happen is that that Morrison's was meant to move on to the Fuetz's site. If this is going to happen or not, nobody is certain now due to investors withdrawing their support. Because it's like what I said earlier and it's like what I said earlier. Why basically pay, you know, invest in a in something that's not there? You know, half, you know. But if you have something half done, even, and you decide to do an investment in that, you have more chance of getting a return on your investment than having a than having an empty plot of land with nothing nothing really happening there and once you start you know once you start putting money into something you want to see some fruits for that and this is the this is why Manchester's rocketing rocketing with uh, new builds Salford's the same Salford has basically turned turned round and said, "Well, in, I've mentioned it in one of my videos earlier that Salford City Council Salford City Council have basically turned round and said that they want to reimagine their town centre, and they're at this moment in time, you know, there are." buildings already there of which they can basically redevelop and you know just add to and it won't take to it won't take much to read read redo their town center because what what they have to do is have one of two places maybe three places they were talking about putting it next to the Lowry or the Imperial War Museum Imperial War New Museum or split it in two and have it half and half so I'm waiting to see what happens with that and I must say to you that there will be a bus a bus ride coming up very soon and uh, I don't know where we're going to have a bus ride to but um, there will be one so I'm going to bugger off now and hopefully I'll put this up, I'll put this uh, um, blog up I'd like to say a big massive thank you to all my subscribers 
and you know it's really appreciated when you do subscribe and tell your friends about the channel and a big massive thank you to you all because uh, without, without uh, you lot this channel would be nothing really and it gives me the motivation to um, you know keep doing these blogs you know because that's one of the major things other major things I, as like I mentioned before there have been bloggers in Blackburn uh, I won't name them but they basically turned around and just uh, abandoned their abandoned their YouTube channels and basically put nothing on it which is well a bit of a shame really well I'm going to bugger off now and I'm just going to have a quick quiet quick a quick quiet drink and uh yeah so it's bye from me for now three two one click